Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit Twitter videos. Now, when I mean edit Twitter videos, I'm actually talking about the style that a lot of content creators have when they come to posting their video content on Twitter. A lot of content creators will make sure a lot of content creators will make sure they crop their video, add progress bars, and add subtitles, and maybe a catchy text headline. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do all of that. So to get started, we're going to be using a tool called Veed. So I'm going to head over to Google, and we're just going to Google Veed. So we're just going to click here and type in Veed, V-E-E-D. Once we've Googled Veed, we're just going to click on the first link, which is create, edit and share videos online. And then if you don't already have an account, now you're in Veed, you'll be prompted to create one for free. And if you do already have an account, once you're in Veed, we're just going to click on the new project button. Now I've clicked on the new project button, I'm in Veed's project editor, and this is where I'm going to upload the video that I want to edit to get ready for Twitter. So I click on the upload video button, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select my clip and just click on open. And if we take a look in the top right, we can actually see the progress of the video upload. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually change the canvas size. So right now, as we can see, my video is in horizontal. So I'm just gonna make it square. So the aspect ratio is one by one instead of 16 by nine. And then I'm just going to click and hold down shift to make my video a little bit bigger so it fills out the square. And so if I just play it back real quick. All right, okay, so this is a test video. Okay, so that's brilliant. So first of all, I'm just gonna cut off the beginning. So I'm just gonna trim to about here by clicking and dragging and then dragging my clip to the back of the beginning of the timeline. Okay, so now something I might actually do is leave some space at the top due to the fact that I'm going to add a a catchy headline, a catchy title. So I'm not going to come up with anything creative because I don't know what my video is going to be about. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to write Twitter. Okay, so now I'm going to style it. I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it this color right here. Or actually what we could do if we make it white, and then I can go to the project and then change the background color to the kind of Twitter color. Okay, so I'm just resizing. There we go, and then, okay, so that's perfect. That's where you put your headline, your title, and you can change the font, you can change the font size, you can change the styling, you can make it bold, italic, and there you go, and you can also add more text, and you can make it last for the entire video. Next up, what I want to do is add some, let's see, add some subtitles. So now I'm going to click on the subtitles tab on the left and click on auto subtitles. Here, basically what V does is it automatically transcribes all of the audio from your video into text and turns this text into subtitles. So I just select the language that I'm speaking in. So in this video, I'm speaking in English and then I just click on start. And then now V is automatically transcribing all of the audio from your video into text and then into subtitles. So if we take a look on the screen right here, straight away, we can see that we have the subtitles. We have them in the subtitle editor here on the left. We have them in the bottom in the timeline. And then we actually have them on the screen in real time. So if I just go back to the beginning, I just want to show you that you can edit the subtitles. For example, if I wanted to remove the all right, I just select it and all the changes that I make appear on the actual canvas in real time. Next up is the actual styling. So if I don't like this black bar that I have behind, for an example, I can go ahead and choose one of these presets. I'm a big fan of this um, subtitle with the drop shadow. So now if I play it back, let's take a look. Okay, so this is a test video and let's just say this is a podcast and I'm trying to add. Okay, so that looks great to me. And then maybe the last thing that I would want to add is actually a progress bar. So I can click on the elements tab right here and then progress bar. If I just click on the add progress bar button and then I have this progress bar that actually appears and what I'm going to do is place it at the bottom of my video. So I just click and drag, make it a bit smaller, make it takes the whole width of the canvas and then I'm going to change the color again, maybe to the Twitter video. So now if we take a look as the video plays, the progress bar will advance and basically the progress bar will end exactly when the video ends. This just shows your watchers roughly where they are throughout the video. So if I click play. Okay, so this is a test video and let's just say this is a podcast. As we can see, this looks really good. And then if I put it at the end right here, as we can see, it's in the end and then even closer to the end. That's perfect. Okay, so that is my Twitter video. Now what I can do also is maybe add a little bit of background music, but I'm not going to do it. All you have to do is upload your audio and then just adjust the volume. And then again, you can add more text, images, shapes. You can also add filters to your video. So I could make it a little bit um, more aesthetic. Maybe I'll add this filter, turn it down a bit. Um, there's also the brightness contrast you can adjust and then some other effects. But once I'm happy with my Twitter video, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the download button in the top right. And then once I've clicked on this download button, Veed starts to render my new Twitter video. And then once it's finished, 
I can directly download it to my computer or share it straight to social media. And that is how to edit Twitter videos. That being said, if you have any questions about how to edit Twitter videos, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.